This video looks at section probability E1. In this video we're going to look at probability rules and complementary events. Now as mentioned previously the complement of an event is represented by E', e prime. It's all possible outcomes of the sample space that are not the event or every other possible outcome other than the event itself. As the event either occurs or it doesn't the probability of something happening for certain is 1. Then the probability of the complement of the event must be 1 minus the probability of the event happening. So for example the probability of getting a 6 on a die is 1 in 6. The probability of not getting it is 1 take 1 on 6 which is 5 on 6. So you can see that expressed here. The probability of E plus the probability of the complement of E has to equal 1. So the probability of the complement of E has to be 1 minus the probability of E. So let's look at some examples. State the complement of each of the following events and determine the probability of the complement. So rolling a 2 on a die, well the complement is not rolling a 2. Sorry. On a die. Okay, so the probability of getting a 2 is 1 in 6, the probability of not getting a 2 would be 5 on 6. Choosing a red ball from a bag containing 3 red balls and 9 blue balls. Okay, so my event here is choosing a red ball, so the complement would be not choosing a red ball. which actually means choosing blue. So the probability of red is 3 out of 12, because there's 9, 10, 11, 12 balls, which is 1 out of 4. So the probability of not choosing red is 1 minus the probability of red, so 1 minus a quarter, which is 3 quarters. Okay, so over here I should have actually written probability of not getting 2 is 1 minus the probability of getting 2 which is min 1 minus 1 over 6 which is 5 over 6. So some for you, pause the video, have a go yourself. Okay, come back to it. So I'm hoping you've given that a go. So selecting an even number from 13, 15, 17, 18, 19. So the complement would be selecting odd or not selecting even. So the probability of even, which we did before, was 1 out of 5. So the probability of not selecting an even number would be 1 minus 1 over 5, which is 4 over 5. Next, winning a raffle after buying two tickets of the 150 tickets sold. Well, the complement would be not winning. The probability of winning was 2 out of 150 or 1 out of 75. So the probability of not winning would be 1 minus 1 out of 75, which would be 74 out of 75. Okay, now remember you may need to use a lattice or a tree diagram to determine the sample space before you can determine the complement of an event. So what now? Exercise, exercise probability E1. Good luck.